Hello, I want to make a short video, but I can't stress enough how important it is to copy. I never stopped it, I always do that, and there are a couple approaches to the copy. One is, as you can see, for example, is a straightforward drawing from the, in this case, a painting of El Greco, trying to understand the way he sees the form, how he sculpts the knee, I mean, draws the knee and so forth. So you are kind of a looking at the original and trying to understand what it is, how it's done, kind of getting under the skin of the artist's mind. What is the purpose, how he thinks, how he treats the form, and so forth. Another way is to draw from anything which inspires you and drawing it from as would you as, as you would draw from let's say being outside and seeing the scenery which means you don't precisely follow the way it's done but you're trying to use the found already decisions all the decisions which have been made for you by the artist and learn from the artist how those decisions have been made it is indispensable tool, and like I said, there's examples I prepared for you, so which shows that I've done it before, I keep doing it, I don't think I'm ever going to stop doing it, because to me it's always exciting, it's always the uh, best tool to learn, and I mean it. it is, there is no better teacher than copy the artwork or any kind of artwork or drawing or anything, which inspires you or questions or doubts, I mean, everything, any kind of a reaction to the artwork which is in front of you or you come across or you experience, copying it by drawing from it, painting from it, sculpting from it, is indispensable too. So here, for example, like I said, that's a Greco copy, that's a copy of the drawing of fashion I've done because I could not believe that it's a drawing and I had to do it and nobody believed me that it is I remember all those long fights that I don't think it's a drawing. It looks like a stone lithograph. I end up to be true. I mean, I, it, it end up to be true because it is drawn on stone. It is a stone lithograph. But beyond that, the way he sculpts the form and used the enormous amount of sources of lights, as you can see, there's a just lights from everywhere. So he uses not a one standard approach of lighting from left to right. He just uses as many light sources for the form as he needs. It's like this eye has a different source of light than this one. This eye has a different source of light than the nose and so forth. So it's all about how he treats the form and what are the tools. Here's another example. This one is the copy of Halbein. And by the way, it's interesting to see that the same drawing was copied by Fashion. Uh, it's in his museum. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's no surprise to me. But I remember that this particular portrait took me, I don't know how many times, three, four, five times to get it because it's such a precise knowledge of anatomy and all those lines and soft tones are not an accident. So it took me a very long time, so many attempts to do that, but it's, it's on my wall still today. This painting came out of copying of El Greco's Portrait of a Gentleman and it became an independent work, but it derived from that copy of a portrait. So this is black and white painting with, uh, I mean, brush, and I think it's tempera. It's been done a while ago. And this is a good example, which is, it's a drawing on a phone, but it's a drawing from the photograph where the, I think it's a Hansen, Bill Hansen photograph, where the body of the kids are in a dark, and they're kind of laying in a car. So it's it's just a beautiful play of light and shadow and was inspiring. I didn't have any other tools with me, so I just used the phone. So what I'm saying is I encourage you to draw from everything you find exciting, encouraging, questionable, 
drawing, copying it teaches you things which you would never find on your own. Consider that, that they already found it. They already made a decision. So you're basically eating the well-prepared food. And your job is just to digest it and use it for the next, for the betterment of yourself. Okay? Good luck with that. Bye-bye. In this video series, I will introduce you to my way of unraveling hidden secrets of the human head. I will introduce you to how to see what is not obvious, how to find the structure which is the hidden character of the head. The character is the key to the likeness. I will tell you all my secrets, I will show you all my tools, all my techniques. This will open on limitless possibilities and freedom in handling any head you choose to portray and will put you on a road to success.